Hey, how you doing? I'm Tyson Franklin and welcome to this week's video. Today I want to talk about reactivation, recalls and incomplete treatment. They are three of the biggest leaks most people have in their podiatry business. Before I get onto that, just remind people that as you can see, I'm in Cairns at the moment, it's beautiful weather. It's like this most of the time during winter. So if you're free on the 24th of August, day freeze, is doing a one day event, The Power of Persuasion. We're gonna be doing it up here in Cairns. It's on a Saturday, all the details on my website, just go to tysonfranklin.com, click on events, you'll see everything there. And I tell you, this is the event, I go. I see Dave Freeze, I go to Business Black Ops every year in Arizona. It's the one event of the year I do not miss. So to get Dave Freeze here for a one day event is absolutely unbelievable. So if you are free on that day, I tell you, I wanna see the room full of podiatrists. At the moment, it's 50-50. There's a few podiatrists and there's a few people from Cairns who are coming along. It's gonna be great. So, back on to today's topic. Reactivations, recalls, and incomplete treatment. So, a lot of podiatrists will focus on marketing. I wanna get more patients, and they'll see all these different people that are spruiking all these ideas. Hey, follow this email campaign, or do this one text message, and you'll get 73 new patients. Technically, that's not true, because you can't just send a text message or an email to people who are not on your database. So they might be talking about getting 73 existing patients returning. But in the process of doing that, how many people are you annoying to get the 73? That's a different video altogether. But three of the biggest leaks is it doesn't matter how many patients you have coming into your clinic, you've got to retain those patients. Yes, you've got to look after them, you've got to nurture them through the treatment process. There's a whole treatment journey that these patients can go through. But the three biggest leaks I mentioned, reactivations, recalls, and incomplete treatment. If a patient hasn't been to your clinic for a certain period of time, this is where reactivations come in. You've got to come up for, with a reason to get back in contact with them, to remind them that you are actually there. Depending on the type of treatment that came in for, will be the type of reactivation campaign you will actually use. Recalls are another one. If you don't have a good, robust recall process in place, you are losing patients. And it's not just for 12 month authority reviews, it could be for routine foot care, it could be for diabetic assessments. You should have a number of recalls in your business to get patients back. That is one noisy bird, I don't know if you could hear that. And the other one, incomplete treatment. For every patient that comes into your, business, into your clinic, there should be a start and there should be a finish. And anything where there isn't a start and a finish is incomplete treatment. And you would know that no matter what a patient comes in for, there would be a treatment journey that they actually go through. And in your head, you should know exactly what that journey is and know if it's been a successful outcome or not. If you're looking through patient files, you hear a patient came in for this, came for the next visit, and then they were supposed to come back and they didn't, that's incomplete treatment. Now, these are three things that I do at my reboot three big sessions, they're actually individual sessions. One just on reactivations, one's on recall, and another one's on incomplete treatment. Now the reboot's filled up for this year, so we'll be doing it again next year. But in the meantime, just give it some thought yourself. Think about how can you reactivate patients to get them coming back, the ones that you've already gone through a treatment process with, but you need to see how they're going. You need to review their progress six, 12 months down the track and they didn't turn up for those appointments. So you had them in a recall system, they didn't come back, therefore your reactivation kicks in. And this is how I would map this out, is your incomplete treatment will normally happen in the first three to six months. Your recalls will happen at about the 12 month mark, depending on what they're coming in for. And your reactivations usually happen 18 month onwards. And I have a big map where I have this all mapped out. Those that are doing the reboot will actually uh, see it this weekend, which is gonna be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully the weather will stay exactly how it is right now. A little bit of chill in the air, uh, which is why I actually have my hoodie on. So that's what I want you to get from this video though, is if you don't quite understand these processes, just give it some thought. Reactivate patients that haven't been in for a while. Recall the patients that have gone through a treatment process and you want them to come back and look for incomplete treatment, especially if you employ other podiatrists. Don't assume that every patient that went through followed the perfect journey. Go back, look through files, and look for treatment that has been missed. A patient that says, I need to go and check my roster, and they never get back in touch with you is incomplete treatment. 
Somebody says, I just need to talk to my wife and check our finances, who never comes back, is incomplete treatment. You need to get in touch with these people. You need to have a process of actually doing this. So I hope you get something from this video. Plug those three leaks. Now there's a lot of other leaks in podiatry business, but there are three big ones that I think everyone should work on first. Hope you get something from that and I'll have another video for you next week. Okay, bye.